Okay, here we go again. Before we get started, we'll take another picture. We'll look at the camera right there on three. One, two, three. All right, and here we go again. Coach Brown, are you there? Can you hear me okay? Yes. Oh, wonderful. One, Lance, are you good? Yeah. Well, here we are, folks. Lindsey Huddleston with Sports Psychology Solutions here at the Rachel Williams Foundation, ninth annual Freedom Classic Games. I have my guy, uh, Lance Boogie Monroe Jr., representing Saginaw and Lake Superior State. And I have uh, Coach Monique Brown here. Coach, I said if you lose games, you don't have to worry about coming and doing an interview, but you're always winning the game, so I got to get you down here all the time, which means our conversation goes from the little things to the bigger things. And I guess I always like to talk to you about maintaining that winning culture. You had a great, great win today against a very scrappy Mumford team. They came out there clearly like they had you guys marked on the calendar, but it seemed like they just didn't have enough to stay the whole way and uh, finish that. So what do you think about today's game? Well, first of all, I want to say I, I do want to win to sit up here and talk. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yes, in the beginning, um, they went a 1-3-1 one, one zone, mm -hmm. and that always slows us down a little bit until we figure out, you know, our our special spots. We got a couple of special spots in that 1-3-1. One, one. Mm -hmm. We figured that out, and um, one of our main goals is to push the ball up the floor before it even sets up. So um, once we start doing that and, and playing better defense, we were able to pull away a little bit in the second quarter. Right. Lance, you played, you played a very huge compliment to uh, – Edison's team by just watching, you said that this team could probably compete with some of the collegiate programs that you've seen. I know Coach Brown's going to be very humble about that, but what was your take on watching them play and uh, what your experience has been? Uh, just the ability, just watching everybody being able to be coached. Everybody's willing to they trust their process. And uh, with that being said, I feel like you know you got a lot of players. I feel like from watching the game, you have a lot of players that can go out there and score 30s each. And it's like, how do you go about keeping all those players humble? Uh, I mean, a big win like that, and it, just how, how do you keep everybody humble? That's what I'm doing. I'm sorry. I, I believe what we've done um, is we, we do a lot of things outside of basketball. And we've created a family environment, sisterhood, where it doesn't even really matter um, who gets that shine. And... Um, we know, you know, we have um, Nikia Jackson and Gabrielle Elliott who do that. Who does a lot of that, that scoring. But on any given day, whoever has the hot hand, we're trying to trying to find that. We and and you know, and, and, you know, we talked about the Golden State Warriors, right. and we kind of follow that little motto of you know who's who has a who has a high hand. We trying to get the ball to. Them. Yeah, so y'all definitely got a Boogie Cousins in there some way. All is happening. <laughs> You know, I want to follow up on your question, Lance. That was an excellent question. Uh, Coach, how do you feel when you hear someone say it seems like your players are coachable when you talk about having almost 20 years of experience? It probably hasn't always been like that. And if so, if not, how do you get to that point where your players could be so coachable? I think it's, um, it's truly the, the trust that they have. Um, a lot of those young ladies I've had in middle school um, and been knowing them for some time, and I know they've been us. We have a really good report across the board, and that's what I um, – I really take a lot of pride in, in really getting to know my player, you know. So I think that's where that being coachable, I can really, you know, fuss at some and, and talk to others. And what I've learned how to do, you know, coach yeah. secure the different way. So is it fair to say, and Lance, I'll jump back to you in a second, is it fair to say you almost need a few years, several years with a program to really help get them where you can have that kind of rapport, or is it possible sometimes to be able to do that within a season or two? I think you can do it within a season or two, but I think it's just a lot of time that you have to put in. It's the time. So it's the time, okay, that you have to do that. Lance, uh, you got anything else for our great winning coach right here? Um, I've, I've been playing basketball all my life. You're the first women's coach I've heard mention sisterhood. Oh wow! In my entire life, so I just, 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 from, this is my first time. Just, that just shows that you're really a family oriented team. You want everybody to have each other back. That, that's pretty big for me. Like when I played college basketball, we we touched real big on brotherhood. So that's that's real nice to hear. Oh, awesome! Thank you. How do you feel when you hear something like that? When somebody says it's the first oh, time they've heard that? That mean all the work that we've done over the course of the a season or the course of the, the few years 
it's all paid off. It's all it's paid off. It's all paid off. Well, Coach, you did a wonderful job here. Do you even know what's next on the schedule? I know a lot of coaches are so focused. They don't even know who's next. But what's what's to come in the next few games or whatnot? Well, definitely we have um, – Piwamo West Failure on Monday. And that's a championship program yeah, over exactly. there. Right, right. We played them last year in the semifinals and the year before in the state championship game. So we're going to their house. They're going to pack the house. I like to take my, my girls into different environments. Mm -hmm. um, we went up to Muskegon last week. That was a totally different environment. Mm -hmm. um, and we came out, you know, victorious. And that's what Ricky was trying to do. Right. And uh, I got a PW story. And you reminded me, and I may have shared this with you before, uh, one of my former colleagues, uh, their daughter played on that team. When I mentioned you guys, she said, oh, my God. I mean, she was upset at hearing you guys' name, but there was so much respect they had for your program because y'all just came in and put that work in. So I know they're going to be getting up for you guys. Oh, so. absolutely. And last question I have, they always say every game is the same, but is that really the case? Do some games stand out a little bit more in your mind or, or concern you a little bit more compared to others? No, oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the opponent or if you play a team, you know, you really don't want to play a team, you know, multiple times in a year, or because you know they they tend to to know what you're running. You don't, you know, a coach doesn't come in and change the whole system from last year. So I know I've seen them at our games. You know, I know this is going to be real, real big and special. So this game you have scheduled with them, you don't nec you don't necessarily have to play. This is not a conference game. No, we're independent, so we just. I, I try to make the toughest schedule I possibly can. Okay. Um, when we moved out of Class C, Piwamo accepted a, a game with us. Wow. Yeah. Lance, when you hear that, a coach talking about, I'm willing to build the toughest schedule possible, what do you think when you hear that as a former player? I feel like a coach is thinking about tournament. Mm -hmm. Tournament. Uh, the, like, for me, Class B, uh, we, we run into Detroit Country Day, Lance and Sexton, once we get out of that region. So... With our conference play, our coach really didn't schedule those tough games, so we weren't ready for that level of competition. So hearing that lets me know that she she wants the best for a young lady. She won a win. It's the winning mentality. Coach, you're doing a wonderful job. Do you have anything else to share as we sign off for any uh, coaches that are out there who may be struggling with their program, coaches who've had success and want to get back to it, but anything for the good of the order as we get ready to sign off? Um, just continue to work. Um, over the years that, that I've been coaching, it's just put me in as much work. I, I watch a lot of basketball, not to watch the game, but just to listen to the commentators. I, I do a lot of listening to the commentators on, on adjustments that probably could be made. Um, and that's just, it's just work. That's it. It is work. Well, you're doing so good. And I'm glad to know that whenever I see you at a program, there's a good chance we're going to have an interview because you're going to get the dub. That's I hope wonderful. so. I sure that's hope That's it. So. That's it. We're always a pleasure to see you, Coach. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Just wonderful. Great job. Thank you.